It's Sunday, May 4th, 2014. I'm gonna have another cafe video for you today. Uh, I forget what number this is, 20 something. Uh, we may have quite a, quite a bit in this video or we may break it down. It just, just depends on how the day goes and, and all that good stuff. I did wanna show you what the cafe looks like right now, which there it is. Frames all nice and painted and uh, you know, it looks really good to me. Got the tank just sitting there, the seat sitting there where it's kinda of gonna go. Um, you can see everything's all nice and dry. Looks Look brand new, really. We'll see how it turns out in the end. Hopefully, it uh, will look good. Um, we'll continue on this. So we're going to show you what these look clean. I did put another piece in there, and I'll show you that later. I flipped them around, um, so they've been soaking in there for a week. I got to do a little bit of grinding. I forgot about on that, so we'll get that in the video. Uh, what else? Uh, cage is gone. Somebody picked that up. Still got the seats. Got to sell those. That's for the M3. Um, forks, we might get started on those today, kind of moved them over here. I uh, may list some of this other stuff on Craigslist back there, the old wheels and stuff, so I don't know if I'll make a video of that. Um, got, got that going on. It's about one o'clock, so only getting so much done. Uh, but right now, I've got some parts here that I want to, uh, just various parts that I want to get put in a tumbler. Getting ready to leave here in a few minutes, so uh, got to pick up some grub for the family, but uh, not cooking out or anything today. So we're going to put these in the tumbler. Um, I've been using this mostly for brass for the, uh, the reloading, which we'll make a video of that eventually. I don't have anything to reload right now. And I was going to go shooting today, but thought it would be a better, good time to work on this. I need to get started on this. I can go shooting any time, just about. So we're just going to throw, and you know, I've already done some of these before, but we're going to throw, you know, I've got washers. All this stuff in here, the adjusters. May have too much going in here, but oh well. We'll just stick it all in there and see how it plays out. Nut for the triple tree. This, yeah, we'll put that in there. Doesn't really need to go in there, but. And then we've got motor brackets. I don't, I think I've got too much in there. I definitely do. We'll put those in by themselves. But for now, we'll go ahead and, I'm holding the camera, so it's a little bit of a pain. Should have put the tripod up. We'll go ahead and put that all in there for now and let that run for, for a long while. And then we'll put those uh, engine mounts by themselves. At least I think that's what, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what those are. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and look at some of my videos. And that's another good thing about making videos. You forget where something goes. As long as you filmed it, you can go back and look at it. So we're going to let this tumble for a bit. And uh, I'm going to get some grub. So it's about 1 o'clock now, I think. Let's look here. 12.58. So probably back in an hour or so. And then we'll get started. See you soon. We are back. It's uh, 2.30, so a little longer than I thought. Um, got the tumbler turned off for now, but we'll show you some of the pieces real quick. Um, we'll just take, uh, yeah, we'll take this out of here. You can see this is already starting to shine up pretty good. Still got some work to do on the inside there. So uh, we'll, we'll put that back in there, but uh, we'll turn it off during the video, obviously, to uh, avoid interruption. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take these parts out, I'm going to wash them, but I wanted to give you an example of how well this stuff actually works real quick. Let me uh, turn the viewfinder around. So, yeah, little splash there. So here you've got this, but I mean, see, just all the crap that is coming off of there. I mean, that's all stuff that I don't have to worry about cleaning by hand. So I'm going to take it to the side of the house, empty this out, and then spray this all off so I don't have to deal with it too much, and then we'll come back and we'll start uh, doing a little more grinding. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back, and the parts are, are somewhat dried off, but uh, I don't really care right now because I need to start doing some grinding right here. And uh, I'm not going to show you all the grinding, but we'll start it. Uh, that's where I cut off one of those brackets. I think it was for the uh, rear brake pedal. And uh, I just forgot to grind it off. So again, just going to grind it, regular grinding, 
a regular grinder here, like a uh, Harbor Freight, and I've got one of these uh, real abrasive sanding disc on there, 40 grit. So all I'm gonna do is just keep going back and forth like that. You can see I took a good chunk of it off right there. Uh, so within a few minutes, it'll be done. So we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. It's about three minutes later. You can see we've got that all nice and rounded over. Never know it was there. Now the next step, or the next thing I'm gonna do rather, is, I don't know if you remember this, I was talking about that little nub right there. Let's move this up a little bit. This little nub right here being broken off and the other one good. So there's the good one. There's the one that's broken. Um, since this is not gonna be on a side stand, a kickstand rather, I'm gonna go ahead, it's gonna be on a frame stand. So really my concern was, is when the bike was tilted, you know, on a kickstand it would hit the tank. But being on a frame stand, you know, that can happen pretty easily, but it's uh, not as big of a concern for me. So instead of wasting the money or trying to modify this, I'm just gonna grind them both off. And uh, I think that'll be the way to go. Uh, actually, I might just grind one. I'll keep one on. Uh, I'll just grind the one that's on, or that's off, rather. I'll grind it all the way flush so it looks okay. And then we'll just paint this up instead of wasting the money. There's actually a lot of things I'm gonna reuse. I didn't think I was going to, but I'm going to now. Um, just for, uh, you know, there's no reason to buy new when you don't have to. So again, with this, I'm just going to take the grinder and just, uh, you know, lightly tap over it. Like now, the part I'm probably going to keep on because I'm probably going to retain the front brake. I'm probably going to keep, I was going to originally grind this off right here. But I'm probably going to keep that on. That's what holds that uh, part of the front brake on. For now, I'm going to keep it. That may change, but with the VHT paint, which I'm probably going to use on this as well, you know, grind it, repaint it, no worries. That's the thing. That's why I don't like to use powder coat. First of all, it's expensive. I, you know, I can't do it myself. And secondly, uh, you know, any screw-ups or anything I want to change, I just change it and just slap another coat of paint on it. So that stuff is, holds up pretty well so far. So. I'm gonna go ahead and grind this, and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, we are back. I ground this down about as far as I really want to. I don't really necessarily have to have it gone. I just didn't want a jagged edge stick in there. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get start prepping these for paint. I gotta take this, uh, I'm gonna paint this, but um, I wanna take it off of there. So it was just a nut and a washer. We'll take that off of there, and then uh, we'll be back and show you how I'm gonna prep these parts. A little different than what I did with the frame, so stay tuned. Okay, we are back. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I should probably, I mean, it's light out, but there's not a whole lot of light in here. But what I'm going to use on these other pieces, uh, my compressor with a, just a tool with a, uh, a wire brush on it. And I'll show you why. So, hopefully you can see this. I don't know if you can tell how rusted and pitted up this part is. See that? Really rusted and pitted up. Now, I've already done this side, this other side. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't look new, but you can see once I put a coat of paint on that, you won't see that pitting on that. Now, there's an area on the frame I should have done this to, and I was going to, but I forgot, you know, whatever. I still may go back and do it. Again, that's the beauty of using the paint. You know, I can, you know, correct those problems. But uh, see, huge difference. See all the pitting and everything. And basically what you do... This, I mean, you could do this by hand, but it's going to take forever. You could do it with a drill and a wire brush, but it's going to take forever. You need a high RPM wire brush. And we'll show you, uh, let's see if it's, I don't know. Man, I should have brought my lights, but we'll do, I don't know if you can tell how bad that area is right there. We're going to do that area. And all you do is just go back and forth, move the camera down. It might get loud because the compressor is probably going to kick on. So once that's done, you know, I'll start talking. But I'll show you what we're doing here. There. Just do that part. 
Now see that difference, that pitting's gone. And you're not taking away any of the metal, you're just getting that, that top layer of gunk off there. So I'm gonna keep on doing this to this piece. I'm gonna do it through the lower triple clamp. And I'm doing it for the rear, uh, or for the, the swing arm, but I wanna show you. I'm not gonna do finish the swing arm today. It is hanging here. I've already kind of done it. See some areas there. That's not where I welded, or where, I'm sorry, gr ground. There's where it ground down. You can see, uh, I've already done it. But what I realized is I've still got some water in the tubes. So I'm gonna let this hang dry for quite a while and then finish it up and then we'll be able to, to uh, prime that and um, paint it. So I'm gonna keep on doing this for now. See all that water. And then uh, we'll come back and uh, maybe we'll have these two parts ready for paint and we'll worry about that uh, swing arm maybe next week or yeah next week um, depends on how the week goes this week but it'll probably be next week so we'll keep on going here also going to do the same thing for the uh, this holds the drum in place the brake drum for the rear wheel and we'll do the same thing with this so we will be back okay we are back now these parts are They've all been dried, they've been cleaned, now they're ready to be primed. So we've got the, the frame stand, the lower triple tree, and we've got the, uh, the little brace back here that holds the, uh, the brake uh, break in place. So we're going to prime all these parts. Remember anything you want, you don't want to have primer or anything else on it, get it out of the garage because it will get on it no matter how careful you are, the overspray will We'll get on it. So we're just gonna about the normal 10, 12 inches. And since I'm not gonna be doing any sanding on these, I'm actually using the uh, Rust-Oleum engine primer here. So I used uh, the primer filler on the frame. Only other thing I did to the triple tree is I punched out the, uh, the key, the actual lock rather. Just uh, punching a hammer. You can see I've taped up the um, shaft, that's what she said, <laughs> I missed that show. So I've got that one done, it's light coats, go ahead and spin this around. And even though you're doing light coats, this stuff goes on pretty thick. And we're just going to do one coat of primer. Make sure we got the bottom here. Yep. This side. here. Small piece, but it's got a lot of little nooks and crannies. I just break my thumb. All right. And the last piece, go ahead and move the camera. You see I've got the DT-80. It's, uh, it looks close. It's pretty far away. Uh, you should be okay. You know, that's it's actually about 20 feet away. It looks a little closer than that. You should be okay with that. But anything and you know within five ten feet this piece here turned out really nice as far as the uh, the grinding on it looks brand new there's no real no uh, really no uh, pitting or anything Didn't get this side of the triple three Touch-ups here, and we'll let all this dry so it's tacky, and then we'll put on our black uh, VHT roll bar paint. We're going to do the same thing for this too. Assuming I've got enough of it, I may have to use the uh, engine enamel, but I think I've got enough of this of the uh, 
thing, the same thing I use on the frame and everything. Uh, this here. So I thought about painting this piece here red, but I don't have any red paint just to kind of give it a little bit of a different look. And I still may do it. I may just leave it prime for now, uh, but we'll see. We're gonna let this tack up and then uh, we'll be back shortly. Okay, it's literally been about five minutes. It's ready to go. So we're gonna, same thing we do all the time, 10, 12 inches. Probably the first coat could be light. Probably a little heavy. But I do kind of want to cover up all the primer. There's that. And same thing for the our triple tree here. Now one thing I did forget to mention on the triple tree also is the insides. Uh, I actually did that with a sandpaper, with some sandpaper, just rolled it up, but they were a little rusty. And I don't care if I get the paint in there, that's fine. Spread them out enough so it uh, won't affect. There we go. You can see it looks like a brand new triple tree. And then the uh, sand. And we'll probably put about two coats. Maybe three, because these are kind of more wear parts than the frame is. So we'll keep on doing this. This is going to end this video. I'll probably make another video of the, uh, of the fork, hopefully today. We'll see. It's about 4 o'clock. But we'll get this finished up, and then uh, we'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.